Welcome back to this week's show. Today we're looking at the top 10 production vehicles of all time. Now this list was compiled by MSN and the top 10 are based on the top selling vehicles of all time. And right behind us here is the number one production car of all time and you might have it in your driveway as well. We're going to start at number 10, work down to number one. Let's get going with number 10. With 14 million units sold, it's the Chevy Impala. It first went into production in 1958 and is still currently being produced at the Oshawa Assembly Plant in Ontario. In its heyday, it was sold as a convertible sedan and coupe, and currently it's only available as a sedan. Now back in the 60s, it was a staple of every middle-class American home, kind of like the Honda Civic is today. Now the car, as I mentioned, is still being continued in production in Canada, and that sedan at times pops into the top 10 list of sales in Canada. Now you should also know that if you drive one of the modern Impalas, it scores very well in current J.D. Power & Associates quality surveys. Now the peak of Impala sales came in 1964 when they sold almost 1.2 million in that year alone. That's an all-time one-year record for production car sales. Way to go Impala. At number 9 is the Volkswagen Passat with 14.1 million units sold. Now the Volkswagen Passat, you're kind of going, huh? But you have to remember one thing, Volkswagen in Europe is number one and the Passat is a mainstay of their sales. It first went into production in 1973 and continues into production today. It's the very first water-cooled front-wheel drive car made by Volkswagen. Now the current Passat, especially the CC, is a wonderful product. The Volkswagen quality has been improving and the Passat is definitely a standout in their lineup. At number eight, the Honda Accord with 15.8 million units sold. It went into production in 1978 and is still being produced all around the world. The Accord epitomizes the domination by the Japanese in the North American car market back in the 80s and 90s. In fact, it actually stole sales away from a lot of the domestic products. This car has been embraced by the public for its low cost of ownership, its reliability, and its fuel efficiency. We chose it as our winner in our mid-size comparison. Another thing to note is the very first Japanese car to be built on North American soil way back in 1982. Expect more Accords to be sold worldwide as they are now being introduced into the Chinese market. At number seven, the Ford Model T with 16 and a half million units sold. It was produced from 1908 to 1927. The Model T is probably the most important car of the last century. Because of the Model T, Henry Ford invented the assembly line, which actually helped to produce affordable vehicles for middle-class North Americans. Now, Henry Ford and the Model T also were the cornerstone to build up Detroit into one of the wealthiest and most industrialized cities in North America. The Model T was available in coupes, convertibles, and even pickup trucks. A lot of those manufacturing techniques that Henry Ford invented are still being used today. At number six, with 17.7 .7 million units sold, is the Honda Civic, and it's been in production since 1972. Now this is no surprise to Canadians, because in Canada, the Honda Civic has been the best-selling car for over 10 years, because it doesn't cost a lot to buy, and it's very cheap to operate. The size is perfect, and it's a good all-around car for just about anybody. The good thing is it's made here in Canada, in Alliston, Ontario, for the North American market. It's amazing to think back to those 70s Honda Civics. Sure, they were cheap to buy, but they also felt kind of cheap, and they rusted out badly, especially in eastern winters. It's amazing to see how far the Civic has come in just over 30 years. At number five is the Ford Escort, with 20 million units being sold between 1967 and 2004. A lot of North Americans don't realize just how massive Ford is throughout Europe, and a big part of their success was with the Escort in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. The early models of the Escort sold in Europe were rear-wheel drive. When they moved to a front-wheel drive platform and exported those vehicles to the North American market, that's when sales really took off. It was a mainstay of families looking for an inexpensive car to buy and cheap to run. The Escort was replaced by the Focus, which might be disappointing to some because the Escort had such a strong following. In the number four position, one of the most iconic cars, the Volkswagen Beetle, with 21.3 million units sold from 1939 until the present day. It was built for the North American and European markets until 1979 and then continued to be produced in Mexico until 2004. 
The Beetle was designed and engineered by Ferdinand Porsche. Yes, that Porsche, on Adolf Hitler's request way back in 1931. It wasn't put into production until 1939 and was mostly used by the military. It wasn't until after the Second World War that Germans and Europeans flocked to the Beetle because of its inexpensive transportation. It was introduced to North America in the 1960s and was definitely an icon for that decade. And an icon for most baby boomers. At number three is the Volkswagen Golf. With 25 million units sold, it first came into production in 1974 and it continues to be produced today. Now with the Volkswagen Beetle being so popular, when VW decided to come out with a small front engine water-cooled car to replace it, there's no doubt that it was going to be successful. The Golf is sold all over the world and in many different configurations from three-door hatch, five-door hatch and even convertibles. The Golf offers above average handling and solid German engineering. Now the original was called the Rabbit and until recently they brought the Rabbit name back, but that'll be gone for 2010 when they reintroduced the Gulf to North America, also available in a diesel engine, making it reasonably priced and fuel efficient. Just like the original. Now we're going to show you the number one car in a moment, but first, number two, the Ford F-150 with 30 million units sold from 1948 until present. For almost 30 years, the F-150 has been the best-selling vehicle overall in North America. In fact, they usually sell over 500,000 units a year. In fact, the Ford F-150 is the backbone of Ford North America. Now, the numbers are a little bit deceiving because General Motors has to split their numbers between two trucks. See, they have GMC and Chevrolet, the GMC Sierra and the Chevy Silverado, where Ford only has one truck, the F-150. Known for its tough image and durability, the F-150 has a following that is legendary. Well, we're just about to pull the wraps off the best-selling car of all time. So hopefully you've made your wagers at home and you're going to get paid out. Well, there were 32 million units sold since it first came into production in 1966, and it's still being produced today. Here it is, the best-selling car of all time, the Toyota Corolla. Well, here's a stat that we can't confirm, but it sounds pretty cool. There's a Corolla sold every 40 seconds somewhere in the world. And here's why. It's built in over a dozen countries worldwide, including Canada for the North American market. The Toyota Corolla is revered for its low cost of ownership and its legendary reliability and durability. Stephen Beattie, who's the managing director of Toyota Canada, told me that the Corolla is so highly coveted by people who own them that they don't often sell them. They actually hand them down to different family members so they can stay in the club. You know what, Canadians should be proud that the best-selling car in the world is made right here. Want more? Watch our online-only story, What's in a Name? On how Volkswagen came up with its car monikers and Mazda's strategy behind selecting car colors for different markets.